Welcome back, everyone, to the Evil Within 2. We're heading to the Marrow. Let's see if it's stabilized, like Kidman said. Okay. Alright, everything seems good so far. Handgun ammo pouch. We want that. This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Dad? Lily? Oh, this place is messing with my mind. somewhere but let's open this up oh, you? oh green gel thank you always appreciate it in here Some crazy sounds coming from the other side. All right, we can carry even more bullets now. Ah, full. Fine, be that way. Well, what the? I didn't even see it. Okay, music, she's dead. You can stop. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Right. So, so far, I'm really enjoying this. I kind of hope they throw more crazy at me soon. What are you two ladies going to do? get whatever she was leaking out. So it was like this model that you could like see it's on the back side of her but there's like another face growing out of her. It's pretty freaky. So I wonder how because it's um, it seems to be the citizens that have turned, but I wonder how they even got into the marrow. Okay, can't go there. Because it should be something only Mobius agents can have access to. Like milk, 
marshmallows. Ooh, it's sticky like marshmallows. Just had a really tiring day. It wasn't terrible or anything, it was just, I'm just tired. society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra. You were right all along. But... But why am I seeing this now? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything back here. I was expecting what I'm going to say is Laura popping up. So I looked into some of the voice actors for this uh, game and they said something. I don't even know what that was. But they essentially, it, everyone's been recasted, um, as you can tell. But a part of me wonders if they even bothered to get any of the previous voice actors. It looks like a body. It didn't leave anything behind. I messed that up. I don't even know how to sneak past it. It was like looking all over the place. Well, I doubt that's the last we've seen of it.
like they really marketed this milky marshmallowy stuff in the announcement trailer, so just hope it pops up again because sometimes in the first game they like hyped up um, like those invisible I gotta get enemies, the hell out of here but you only ever encounter them once in the main game okay it's stabilized but it's everything's covered in this this gooey marshmallow goodness I actually don't care for marshmallows in real life just whatever I want to see if there's anything there. Oh, shit. <laughs> that surprised me. This place was supposed to be fucking stable. It's stable-ish, I guess. Exit 72, nature preserve. We'll go there later, I'm assuming. Marrow facilities D5. Is it D5 or D4? That won't open. Nothing wrong with that. Seven bullets. Report number 00532, Displacement Protocols. Emergency Core Displacement Protocols. It is imperative that a missing core be replaced as soon as possible. A core that has been missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the core is missing for over 36 hours, emergency protocols must be instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping. Emergency protocols are only accessible for Mobius operatives with Alpha Security clearance and can only be viewed on the Merrill servers. Okay. So I'm assuming she's been missing for more than three days. like someone's enjoying the show. Hi. But who? Someone's been watching. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word! You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. Is this Yukiko? Yeah, that's her. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter, Lily. The core. 
I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of micro-expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart. And I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. That's why it's called this psycho This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us? He's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively, so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person, even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before, another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. Okay. All right. 
so we've met her. So Yukiko is alive, because I thought she would be. Alright, let's see here. There's a mirror. That's where we came in. Let's have some coffee. Some coffee. Candidates to all concerned from Operative Grism. Lily Castiano's initial findings. The ideal core candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidate types egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happened the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendencies was in STEM, so a child is our best bet. Having access to standardized school test results, we were able to narrow down our options. We feel that we found the ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. Her tests show that she not only has a guileless ego, but she also exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. We are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. All right. So they were really watching her. I don't know why that surprised me. <laughs> Trying to see if there would be a way out. Maybe back there. Okay, let's go to the mirror because we got that uh, picture slide to look at. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting slower. Let me see if anything's changed. Doesn't look like it. Other than that, there's an X next to him. Just wanted to see if he said anything new. Alright, let's take a look at the slide. Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. That was short. All right, I'm going to upgrade and be right back. Oh, thank you, little key. Love you. All right, so we're all good to go. Let's go. Why I got to be like this? It's getting cold too, isn't it? Exactly. Post plus. Uh, hurt bad. Where did that thing go?
Hmm. I do need me some handgun bullets. Let's head out into the wilderness here. All right. The theater. I'm coming for you. That's it over there. It's the post office. the growling. for the weapon parts that you bleeded out. I was saying this, but um, she was talking about how like the only people who could like affect the core as much um, were psychopaths. And in Japan, the game is actually called Psychobike. 
Okay, sniper, sniper rifle, and we'll, we'll look for that later. What do you think? The other thing would be most good for us. Hear it. That's real, right, like right there. Okay, let's head over there. Carry more sniper ammo. Right. So that way. I'm the only one who can see it. It's inside. Checking everything out. It's a nice little 1950s style diner here. With Serbian poster and uh, Tango GW motorcycle, I guess. Tango Gameworks. I think that's what the people who make this game is called. Route 666 instead of Route 66. On, on health. like how I remember it as a child. Just wanted to see if it opened. Oh, fuck. 
Where's the jukebox? There? I guess she's not coming. Shit! Fuck. <sighs> okay, please, don't do that. What's it doing this time? What does that thing want from me? Wait, that looks like... me from back then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. She's so creepy. I have no idea if it matters which one. Okay, that one. Something was up with that mirror. Something I should be looking for. Okay, only one door is lit. Let me just check again. It's that one. Come on. I don't like this. You don't see me. It's lit again. I think I went... Yeah, it looks like it's the right one. Something's wrong. Why is that thing chasing me again? Got another slide. I had a feeling that would be the case. That would happen. Oh, God. Right. Just 
want to see the map. Okay, that's where we were from. What? Are you kidding me? So now she's just going to be wandering about? Like, part of the fun I have with this game is exploring, but don't make it. Gotta destroy him before they change. Yeah, that's the ticket. Body parts reassembling into a monster. Sure, why not? If you could, you can't. Damn it, damn it. Bitch, <laughs> shit, were you on fire? can do that. Apparently if the packet is like smart. Just 
cheating, I think. But hey, if the game allows it. Stay down. All right, investigate. They're burning the bodies. Why? Well, according to the residents, he thought that would get rid of them. It didn't work. Nothing. That's the only one. I hope it is. Aha. Uh -huh. um. There you go. Thank you. started it just popped up out of nowhere there's the theater I don't want to go there yet get away get away from me something? Did I miss like some sort of event? Like another citizen I could have saved? So, some of these are locked. I hope that's not the case. Really killed her.
Okay, yeah, she's not there anymore. Devil's own tap room. Where was that? Sounds like someone's in trouble. Where? Damn, he's gonna get mobbed. <laughs> Maybe I can get the jump on him. Open. Oh, that's that one guy. Hey, hey, you over there! You gotta help me! Come on, man! Hold on, let me fieldcraft some ammo. Oh, this is so much easier. <laughs> Give me all you can. Save my ass. I didn't think anyone would come. You're from the search team. How did you end up here? I was looking for something. And what would that be? Look, it's dangerous out here. Come to my safe house so we can talk. Okay, I'll lead keep. the way. I'll be there in a moment. Let me come get on. this green gel here because I have a lot. Finally. And learned for another day. In. They can't get in here. Yeah, because I locked it. Thanks again for helping me out. I'm Sykes. Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos, huh? I've heard of you. You survived the Beacon incident, right? How do you know that? I'm a STEM programmer, but I've got other skills too, like hacking information systems. I know all kinds of things that nobody else knows, not even other members of the team. Then you know who Lily is? Yeah. We're all trying to find her. 
Haven't had any luck, though. That's why you're here, huh? That's right. But if you can't help me with that, then we've got nothing else to discuss. Good luck. Hey, hold on. We might still be able to help each other out. This better be good. Look, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you could probably use. And you can have it for saving me out there. You want to hear my proposal? Come on back to me. All right, I'm all ears. How can we help each other? I need you to restore the server inside the mirror. It should be easy enough as long as none of those freaks are around. Here's where it's located. Hold on, I haven't agreed to anything yet. What's in it for me? You do that for me? I can open up all the locked supply caches for you. And what's in it for you? If you get the server on, I may be able to find another way out of Union. There's really a way to get out of Union? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it a try. They've lost contact with STEM. We're totally cut off. If we don't find the core, we're all gonna die in here. Unless I can figure a way out. How is that possible? You really want me to waste your time talking a bunch of technical gibberish? All I have to do is turn it on? How did the server go offline in the first place? All I'm saying is if you turn on that server, I can give it a shot. Look at this place. It's breaking apart out there. I'm surprised anything is working. But then again, Mobius probably turned it off themselves. They've got all kinds of emergency protocols in place. And you're questioning the almighty Mobius? Hey, I don't mind being a grunt. But the moment I become expendable, well, that's when I start to look for the exit door. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. So, you gonna help me out or not? I guess. All right, so let's... Tell me. Tell me why. All right. Just a fallen Moby operative. Nothing else to it. We'll deal with it later. My mic working still. It looks like it. Yeah. There's a way to tell in my program if the game audio goes up while I'm talking. Usually that means my voice is being picked up. But it doesn't mean that it's coming in crystal clear. So. That is a good way to keep an eye on things. Alright, we'll look at the picture slide and then I'm going to end the video. Because it's been going on long enough. Alright. It's me, Kidman. Good to know you're still there, Sebastian. After Beacon, I tried to make some sense of what happened to me. But everyone said I was delusional. For hiding the truth, I started to believe that maybe they were right. That maybe I was crazy. I felt so frustrated. Useless. Drinking was the only thing that killed the pain. So much time wasted. I could have tried harder. Shit. Don't beat yourself up, Sebastian. When Mobius doesn't want to be found... Don't make excuses for me, Kidman. I fucked up. Look, Sebastian, this isn't the time to dwell on the past. This is the time to make up for it. Self-pity is what led you to drink in the first place. You have a chance to get back what you lost. Don't lose sight of that. Harsh, but true. You're right, Kidman. Thanks. Thank you, Mookie Cat. Report to 700 green gel. Little kitty. Alright, well, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you next time with more of The Evil Within 2.